Wait one second, making sure I'm recording, I should be recording now. Okay. Hello and welcome back to Random Days Random Games. In today's episode, we're once again playing Oblivion. Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Hopefully, wait. What's that over there? Sorry, I just noticed this one little thing here. The Inquisitor's Cage. Replica Gatekeeper Head. What is Focus Crystal. Chalice of River. That is very cool. It looks like one, two, three, four. We have four more things to do. I think that's like four more quests to do. But last episode we got, uh, wait. I think last episode was actually f fully muted. Yeah. Last episode was fully I muted. I was cracking jokes and, you know, doing voices for certain stuff to be intimidating to the enemy or the people that I was interrogating but sadly none of that was caught on uh, the recording because I was muted uh, so sad about that okay but in today's episode we are sent to go investigate well not investigate but to go to the relight the great torch of you know and return with the holy fire. Shigaraf warned me that the golden saints and dark sorcerers who guard the shrine often fight each other, so I should proceed cautionly. Uh, wrong map. I'll just go to Dunroot Burrow. And also, I still need to revive my dog. So, I'll try and revive my dog as soon as possible. Maybe one day I'll shall have my doggy back. But for now, take that. Don Fang has extinguished one life. I wonder how many kills I've gotten throughout this entire series. Ah yes, my next target. Goodbye. This is actually probably my most favorite area right now. Apart from the area from before that I was talking about how good the sky looked. This area is not too bad, it's quite beautiful. Camp beautiful, or hopeful, was it? It's quite empty. Hourglass. I can't remember what, uh, I remember there was like a challenge back in the day and you had to collect every uh, hourglass, but I can't remember what it was about. Maybe it was my imagination. Ah, uh, let's see. But also we have a little bit of a uh, wonder into the goal. We've got to see this is probably the best place on the island. But a log cabin, take out some of the slash Argonox. Seems like a pretty nice place. Ah, uh, let's see. I know, there's not really that many boulders. There's these big boulders here, but you know, there's not really any boulders. Boulders apart from like a few there scattered. There's a few right there. I have to cross over onto an island. Ah, let's see. I don't know how much do we have left of the Shiver Niles. I don't think too much. It also looks like there's a place here. That's strange. Quite a strange place that you probably would not really get to see too often. Yeah, okay. Well, let's wander through the forest. It's nice when they add little details off the, you know, written path that you normally take uh, being that path there. That would have taken a lot longer. That's the island that we're going to right there. Uh. Off we go. Ah, I thought there was something over that way right there. But it seems like there is not. There's also an enemy right there. Uh. Ow. We hate each other at the same time there. 
Uh, let's see. Also, it is, I forgot to say something. This is the Christmas Countdown series. Also, it's, it's like the regular uh, Christmas Count. Well, not. not I uh, cannot speak. It's like the r regular Random Days Ram games. But this one is called Random Gifts Ran. Well, Random Games Random Gifts. Ah, and it, this is the last 15 days to Christmas. It's a 15 day Christmas countdown. Instead of doing the 30 that I normally do, I'm only doing a 15 one this year. I would uh, do a. what do you call it? Minecraft Christmas series. But the last time we did it, I uh, I, I wasn't very good at it. Uh, so maybe next year I'll do a Christmas countdown series. My enemies are here. Weird creature there. Got to say, they really did not do a very good job here. I feel like they just placed a few different stuff around here and did not really do too much of a job here. Like they had the big, you know, mushrooms and all that, but... I'm seeing there's a lot of, uh, you know, unusing this island. They could have added, like, little details like fishing boats that are destroyed. Maybe someone tried to sail away, could add a little bit of a story there. They tried to sail away and, you know, never got away. Okay, we'll head around this place. Uh, I'll see. And also, hopefully you've enjoyed the Christmas countdown this year. We're going to be playing some random games, a few live streams. I think that could be quite fun. Uh, let's see. I'll be pre-recording uh, Christmas Eve and... What do you call it? Christmas. So I could spend time with family and then I might take a little break afterwards. Uh, let's see. Just so you know. Ah, yes, sir. I did have this the idea of doing a uh, the New Year's. Ah, uh, what was it? I'm remembering something that I wrote down a while ago. It was to do a New Year's series, and then also, uh, yeah. I think after uh, Christmas we'll do the New Year's series. I've arrived at the ruins of Cyril. I will need to speak with the commanders of Golden Saints and Dark Seducers to find out how to light Flame of Argonon. State your business. Cylarn is holy ground, unfit for mortals. Yes, yes, yes. I'm here on Sugarath's business. Then you are free to enter the shrine of the Flame of Agnon. This key will allow you passage through any door in Cylarn. Okay. I need to light the flame of Agnon. The flame is lit from the shrine's two altars. Once the Orioles are driven out of Cylarn, it will be our pleasure to light the flame for Shea Goreth. Orioles? The Grokedric Ulfri will explain everything. You should speak to her at once. Are you an Oriole? Nah, you're the Golden Saints. Cilarn. It's a quite weird name, Cilarn. It's like Cyrodiil that we're in the now. But different. Hello? Quite a weird place. What is your business here? I need to speak with Ulfra. I'm here on Sugarath's business. Then I am at your service. The Grok Hedrick Ulfri commands here. You will wish to speak to her at once, no doubt. Yes. The Orioles? Our rivals. The so-called Golden Saints. One day, Shea Goreth will finally recognize their bull-headed stupidity and expel them from the realm. Nah. He's more like, you know, Ah, oh, yes, we can get them to fight as long as possible. Ha ha ha. More like that. Also. She is the Gorkedric, commander of the Mazkin here at Cylarn. She has never yet been defeated by the Orioles, despite their strength. 
Yes, yes. Flame of Agnon. The holy flame can only be lit from the altars of despair and rapture. Alas, the Aureoles hold rapture for now. Yeah. You should speak to the Grakedric Ulfri at once. She will be glad of your help to rid Silarn of the arrogant Aureoles once and for all. Walk with our lord. Yeah. More like trying to avoid this person that I have to talk to. That's what I'm going to do. The Aureoles will soon pay for their arrogance. Sheogorath, blessings upon you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Sheogorath's blessings upon you. The Slime of Despair? Where's the Slime of Despair? Slime of Despair? Altar of Despair. Where's the, how do I like this? What is Altar of Despair. You have found it. The holiest of holies within Silarn, aside from the altar of the flame of Agnon itself. Why is it not lit? Altar the of Rapture. The counterpart to the Altar of Despair. Rapture is currently held by the Aureoles in their complacency, but that will Yes, yes, yes. Walk with our Lord. I really hate that little bump there. Why is it not lighting? Hey. Tell me how to tell me how to light this thing. I guess I don't really care who comes out on top, do I? This is a place of madness. Trying to do good in it will probably not do so good. But I'd like to talk to you. Be gone, me. mortal, or you will soon find yourself between the Mazkin and their prey. A most dangerous place to be. Uh, your prey? I need to slide the... need to light the Slame of Agnes. Then you have arrived just in time to help us... Once the strength of the Aureoles is shattered, I will be honored to light the flame as my Lord Sheogorath commands. Uh, well, it's actually me who's going to be lighting it. Flame of the two altars, blessed despair and holy rapture, feed the great flame of Agnon above us. Only Sheogorath's immortal servants can kindle the altars, and I am at my lord's command. But I only hold despair for the moment. The Aureoles hold rapture and are massing to attack us. But never fear, once their main force is destroyed, with your help, we can easily take rapture from the few survivors. Then I will gladly kindle the flame for you. I kind of just get, uh... Walk with us. Let me summon him. Is it Harold that his name is? Has Our it's Haskell. How may I... I wondered how long it would take before you needed my help. And here I am. At your service. Uh, Slame of Agnon. Well, you've talked to one side. Perhaps a visit to the Golden Saints is in order? Yes. Salarn. Cylon was once the capital of the Shivering Isles. Perhaps the first capital. In any case, the Flame of Agnon here is always used to light the great torch of New Sheoth. It has always been so, and presumably always will be so. Yeah. Yeah, the Great Torch. Ah, the Great Torch. It is a symbol of Sheogorath's power, and a source of great comfort for the citizens of New Sheoth. Unfortunately, the torch has gone out. For eternity, this has heralded the start of the Grey March. 
Lord Sheogorath, in his wisdom, wishes for you to relight the torch to help ease the worries of the populace. Ah, so they don't know what's coming. Yeah. Hmm. Priests of order. Yeah, I think we're I think we're good here. I live. How may I serve? Shut up. Sheogorath's blessings upon you. I'm not gonna take any side until you know we're able to sort this out a bit better. We need to know all cards on table before we can take action. And I need to get out of here because this place is the altar of really will be long. Exit. There we go, there's the exit. If only there was the ability to fast speed in this game. Hello. My soul for Sheogora. Flame of Agnon. The flame is only lit at the command of Sheogorath, from the altars of rapture and despair within the shrine itself. Yes. I'm sure the Armazal Kana will be glad to help you once the Maskin are driven from the altar of despair. Can she commands the Orioles here at Cylarn. She has just arrived with reinforcements from Brelok to end this stalemate once and for all. Ah, Brelok. Our home and sanctuary here in the Shivering Isles. Yeah, I always wondered why he's gold. That's what we call ourselves. The most loyal and honorable servants of Sheogorath. I feel like he's just playing toys with you. Like toy soldiers. My scouts reported no signs of the Maskin in the Underdeep. It's our best chance to take them unawares. Too risky. It's likely to be a trap. They could cut us to pieces down there if they knew we were coming. With all due respect, Armas, I ask that you reconsider. Oh, wait. The main passage is strongly defended. Is this the only Perhaps guy that's around here? To scout further. Enough! Maybe I've made my decision. Maybe it's we'll like, you know, the main passage as planned. The Maskin will not withstand a us. A turned person. Over here, two Golden Saint officers arguing about the best way to attack. Seducer of the Lieutenant. Mayo mentioned something about the Underdeep, a secret side passage leading to the Dark Seducer Altar. I should find out more about this passage from Miro. Hey. Greetings, stranger. Are you here to help us drive the Maskin out of Cylon? Depends. What side are we on? Underneath. My scouts recently discovered another way through the ruins to the Altar of Despair. The Armasul Kana wants to assault the Altar down the main passage, but the Mazkin are expecting us to come that way. They've strongly fortified the main passage against us. If we attacked through the Underdeep, we could take them by surprise. Uh. If only Kana would listen to me. An attack down the main passage will end the same as it always does. A glorious defeat! Why won't Kana listen? She thinks the Underdeep is a trap. It's true. If the Mazkin knew we were coming that way, we wouldn't stand a chance. But I'm convinced the Mazkin don't expect us to come that way. If we attacked in full force, we could take the Altar of Despair before they had a chance to react. Hey. If only I could make Kana see that. Hey. This is no place for a mortal. We are about to join battle oh, against the Maskin. You, too, you, you best too. stand aside. Shigaraf sent me, I need your help. My pardon, emissary. I am at your service. We are preparing to sweep the Maskin scum from Cylon. Perhaps Sheogorath sent you to help us. Nah, he didn't. Sorry. Only the servants of Sheogorath can light the flame by kindling the altars of despair and rapture which feed the flame. Alas, we hold only the Altar of Rapture. The treacherous mask can hold the Altar of Despair. We must control both to light the flame. If you help us seize the Altar of Despair from the Maskin, 
I will be honored to kindle the flame of Agnon for my lord Sheogorath. Right, uh... Really, ma'am, hey. you'll need to start thinking for yourself. It is one of the basic requirements of godhood. Wait, I'm a god now? Flame of Agnon? I'm afraid you'll have to make up your own mind. Unfortunately, I'm just the hired help. I'm not paid to make the big decisions. No, I just wanted How your opinion. to decide? Do you prefer glorious and pointless battle, or the poisoned arrow striking home from ambush? Do you like a stand-up fight, or perhaps a bit of treachery is more your style? Hmm. If only a belly from underneath. Greetings, emissary. We await your command. Battle plans. The only way to assault the altar of despair is down the main passage between the two altars. It will be difficult. The Maz can have fortified their position, but I am confident that with your help, we can defeat them. Will you help us retake the Altar of Despair and drive the Mazkin out of Cylarn once and for all? What about the Underdeep? Ah, Meryl's beloved surprise attack. A perfect example of why males do not hold command positions. He has failed to consider the risks of his plan. If the Maskin had prepared yeah, an ambush along reward. that route, we would be slaughtered. And I've been in We're there. better off storming the main passage, where our superior strength and blade work can come into play. Yeah, but the enemy also has the exact same thing, so you're both equal. But you may have numbers, and they may have your know, strength, so it's better to ambush them from behind when they don't have their strength. Take out the weak and then eliminate the strong. Go. Meryl. My soul. How do I convince her? For Sheagorath's glory. Greetings, Emma. Battle plan. Heart. I'll scout the Dax Azusas. You'll make if you think the mask can go then. I will hold off on my attack to give you a chance to recon Both commanders. Now I need to decide which and how. Mm. Greetings, and Battle plans. Are... I'll scout. That's an excellent idea. They cannot refuse entry to an. Return at once when you have their diploma. For Sheogorath's glory. I guess this is the way I'm going. Attack from behind. It is, you know, the, the realm of madness. So you can't expect to be making a good decision here. That's what I would definitely say. There's no good decision coming from this. The Aureoles will soon pay for their arrogance. Axelusers are defending the main. Passage to the altar of despair and strength under deep. By contrast, appears to be only lightly defended. This information might convince Kina to attack through the under deep. So I guess they are males, but they're never in command. Uh, let's see. I went back to that detail in my head. It's like a reverse, you know what happened, you know, or what, you know, what's back in the day in like the 1800s, 1900s and that, before that. The Mazkin are unworthy to guard the... Greetings, Emissary. We await your command. Battle plans. Are you... 
Yes, but we use the underdeep. I've already made my decision. We attack down the main passage. What makes you think you can persuade me when my own lieutenant cannot? The underdeep is lightly defended. You've seen this with your own eyes? I must be sure it isn't a trap if I'm to take such a risk. It isn't a trap. Meryl was very convincing as well. Very well. We'll risk it. The underdeep it is. May Sheogorath's divine madness possess us today. Down My soul for Sheogorath. For the Emperor! Judge! Should I really be invisible for this? I feel like it's kind of underwhelming. What? Why is there two of them? I have been golden. What? Do you see that fingernail? Now that's longer than mine, and mine are long. Uh, let's see. Hello? A report. I need to help the Golden Saints get through the Underdeep before the death. How am I supposed to do that when none of them are in here? They all just went and attacked the front entrance. Are you ready now? Come on. The animals went by two by two by two. <laughs> uh, I love that joke there. Uh. You know how people talked about their being two of uh, the lions with their. For the mad guy. Nah. You find me? For oh. Judge! For Shio got it! For Shio! For the mad god! Take that! Take that! And your seductive look. Send it to the drain. Loathsome dark arrow. Is that a bit too heavy for me? It's a bit too heavy for me. Eh. Have to think about it, right? Iron arrows don't do as many damage. But the losing one. I really need to get rid of that. That's need to get rid of that sword but if I get rid of the sword it's just good. It's very stupid. I wish I could figure out how to un you know singy the thing for being stolen. Like go by command or something. To victory! And beyond! Let's go! For victory! The Ultimate Mass Fair is ours, but the battle is not over yet. Defensive position, destroy the army! That's the one that gave me the information! Oh, that was the Dark Sabus. Sabus. <laughs> 
Dark Seducer Commander is dead, I should finish off the. Sorry about that. I do apologize for that. There you go. I got the last kill. They said I saw it in last or there. It's been outlawed, it's right. I should speak to Kenna and lay, lay in the sleeve. Oh, tough fight, right? Not a single soldier died, I don't think so. Might have died outside, maybe. Kenna. Victory is ours. I have already selected a candidate for the honor of kindling the altar of rapture. Maybe they have to die. I will now claim the honor of victory for myself, here on the Altar of Despair. What are you going to do? The altars can only be kindled by the willing sacrifice of a Maskin or an Oriole. It is my great honor to release my soul to oblivion in service to Lord Sheogorath. Farewell. I will not walk these lands for many a year. Okay. For Sheog... You've served Sheogorath. I was going to, you know, do the maskin, but... You are an honorary warrior. Oops, I saw. Oh, that is the most weirdest looking thing ever. What about the other side? Can I sacrifice herself on the altar? Despair in order to delight the slain of Agnon. I can now retrieve the slain from the courtyard and bring it to bring it back to New Shio as Shio Gareth commanded. This thing is pretty hot. Anyone that want to join me? Pray. Goodbye. Ah. It's time to bring back the slain. Yeah, I quite enjoyed this quest. Back in the, the day, I thought this was a lot more complicated. <laughs> but it just seems like, you know, two-sided thing that you have to pick one. You can't, you know, not do the other because, you know, you need a willing sacrifice and all that. Uh. Good to see. This area is quite nice, apart from it being very windy and, you know, all that. Seems more like the dungeon that I encountered when I first started Oblivion. I'll see. And once we finish this quest, I'll pick up the dragon armor as I feel like it's been two weeks. And then, that shall be the end of our time playing Oblivion. Oh! Golden Mace. I was wondering why they were crying on the ground, like... It looks Speak like they're in such a position that they're, you know, crying. Oh, I guess two of them died. <laughs> it's a very funny, you know, death there, right? Flame of Agnon added. Now I teleport back because I have the power of teleportation. Stepped into the flame of Agnon, I'm now ablaze with the holy fire. I should return to New Sheaf and light the great torch. I'm on fire! I'm on Speak fire! Citizen. Anyway, if I go. Yeah, that's a cool glow effect there. Uh, let's see. Neo Shoff. Neo Shoff. Oh, that would be. That would be cool if they ever made a, like a remake or someone wants to make a weird mod for like, you know, Oblivion or Skyrim. Remake this DLC and make it Neo. Like, you know, Neo lights everywhere. That would be funny. 
Uh, kind of like, you know, Neo Tokyo or Neo Berlin. Ah, oh, I've not played the uh, singing in such a long time. Can't even remember its name now. What are you talking about lighting the slime? There's already lit a slime up here. Why don't you just use that slime to light the slime? Because it's the same slime, eh? I'm on fire. Oh, this is a... You've brought it. The holy flame of Agnon. The yes, fire I'm of inspiration and rapture. If you light the great torch on the mania side of the Sasellum, you will be a hero to the people of Bliss, I assure you. Let me think about it. Do not think about it. Ah, you come. Light the great torch for dimension. Let me think about it. Did you just give me an angry look? I have a sword and I'm on fire. Think about that. Darkest blessings upon you. I see no reason to talk to you. Yes? What is it? I'm not listening to you. It's because I don't like you. Greetings. Eh. It would be a truly demented act to light the great... Come! Light... I like to... I'm thinking about Mania, actually. Oh, no! You don't want to do that. <laughs> don't believe their lies. They are no true friends. Don't you see it? How they whisper behind your back. If they whisper behind no, my back, they're dead. light the torch for dementia, and you'll see how we treat our friends. You know that the hero who lights the torch for dementia is granted the Ring of Intrigue. A boon for those who would gain access to hidden knowledge. Surely you will do what is. I'm missing about. It. Yeah. Yeah, so, angry looking guy. You've decided to light. But Lynn towards you the should mansion. know that in addition to the adulation of the people of Bliss, there is also a more earthly reward. The hero who lights the great torch for mania is traditionally awarded the raiment of Arden Sul. Not that this should influence your choice at all. Now, what do you say? Let me think about it. Do not think... Yeah, I'm going with you. Just because, uh... Arden Sul was supposed to be a bad guy. And, you know... Yous, yous are just dumb, meal. Why is it so silent in here? Because I'm on fire. Yes. Yes. What is it? They spin me right round and right round and right round and right What? You'll up. I like the great. You are now light the great torch as a beacon for those who fear. And those who inspire fear. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I unlock? Wait. No, get away. Stupid thing. No, I don't have, do I, I don't have to fire no more? Yeah. If I was fast enough, I could have looked bit for them, right? Okay, sorry, I was just playing around there. Give me back the fire. I want to be on fire. A barefooted does a tire, you know. Thing because boots way too much. I really need to get better armor. I forgot about collecting my reward. Oh, I don't have to collect my reward. He's already here. Aren't you off to a good start? That's important for me. Really, your work is going to save me. I guess if I lay on the other time. side, you'd be on the other side. 
Save you time. The Grey March is upon us, and the ordering begins. Armies of order, sweep my realm! Death! Destruction! Then I have to pick up the pieces. And there are always lots of pieces. I don't like it, having to rebuild my realm every era. Sometimes I forget where things go, like New Sheath. I can never remember where it belongs. Yeah. You'll change that. Break the cycle. You'll stop Jigalag, and I'll have my realm to come back to. I've never actually tried that before. I can stop the Grimmage. Why not? Something has to work. Once, I dug a pit and filled it with clouds. Or was it clowns? It doesn't matter. It didn't slow them down. To be honest, it wasn't the best idea. And it really began to smell. <gasps> Must have been clowns. Clouds don't smell bad. They taste of butter. And tears. <laughs> but this is all new. A fresh idea. Something I haven't thought of. Until I did. It sure to work. Even though it might not. What now? Now? You'll need the respect of my citizens. They'll need a leader, someone to look up to when I'm gone. They're the backbone of any great land. Except where the backbone is an actual backbone. Ever been to Malakoth's realm? Oh, nasty stuff. But back to the business at hand. You'll need to control one of the carts of madness. Replace a current duke. Or Duchess, whichever. That will command respect. The people will rally around you. You'll have their love, their admiration, their complaints. Whatever. As long as it keeps them on our side. Yes. I'm gonna go for the Duke. Wouldn't the Dukes be dif no. displeased? <laughs> no, no, no. Absolutely not. Well... Yes, absolutely. Bit of a shame for them. But sometimes, you need to break a few eggs. Or skulls. There are rules, though, even in the Isles. Rituals and rules. You need to follow them. Speak to Artis and Dervenin, the High Priest at the Sasellum Arden Sul. They can explain what needs to be done. And you've always got our man Haskell to call on for help. Faithful, like a good hound, that one. And he looks better in a suit. Okay. What'd you like? This time, I'll beat him! I can't stand losing. And I don't mind cheating. Sounds very Scottish when he did that. Ta, come visit again, or I'll pluck out your eyes! <laughs> Tidings and welcome. Another sheep. I'm disappointed in your choice. Why you would choose to honor the fetid madness of Dementia is beyond my understanding. Yeah, your, your guys kind of don't really like replacing a duke. Yes, how we would all aspire to be as great a leader as the first, our savior Arden Sul, the greatest duke of the ages. Hey. We celebrate him with the ritual of accession, the path to maniac bliss. Ritual of accession? An important part of our history, my friend. I would be glad to tell the tale if you have a moment. Describe the ritual's history. Arden Sul was perhaps the greatest duke to walk our land. Many years ago, he decided to hold a night of absolute indulgence, resplendent with dance, wine, and sex, to celebrate his fondness for his brethren. The green moat flowed like water in a stream, as the revelers voraciously succumbed to its rapturous waves. This is how this sounds lethal. Ah, but it was. As the bacchanal reached a crescendo, the people began to clutch their chests as their very hearts exploded. But the green moat 
had taken its toll. The ground stained a deep crimson as the sanguine liquid flowed from their lifeless bodies. To represent that night, when the ruler of Mania is to be replaced, he partakes of the green moat and allows his lifeblood to flow upon the altar. Tell me what to do. Certainly. When the ruler of Mania has decided it is time, he will choose a successor from his court. The successor is invited to a huge celebration, a night of hedonistic revelry, wine, song, and of course, green moat. During this, the exiting regent imbibes three doses of the potent drug. This causes his heart to burst, and his lifeblood flows from his body. The successor then gathers the drug-tainted blood and brings it to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sasellum. Once this is done, I will proclaim the successor a duke or duchess. Then, Shea Gorath gives his blessing, and the cycle is completed. Okay. Spoken that the Divan High Priestess of Mania, virtual for Mania, requires the current ruler to commit suicide by taking three doses of Greymont. Which is lethal, and then his high tainted drug must be bar. I should now speak to Arcus to learn the dementias. Aye, how are you doing? You haven't spoken. Ah, come visit again! For out! The great torch flares with the light of dementia. All of Crucible will be celebrating tonight. Here, take this. The reward you have earned. Quickly now. It's best if no one knows you wear this. Okay. Hey, Richard of Ascension. Seldom is the subject ever... Br Wait a moment. Did you want to hear the history of the ritual? Please explain the ritual system. As it happened so many years ago, <laughs> my lord Arden Sul suspected a traitor in his midst. Not wishing to find himself on the wrong end of a blade, he gathered his flock here in the Sacellum. By poisoning the sacramental wine, Arden Sul was able to suppress any such conspiracy in one fell swoop. He killed them all? Yes. He then removed their hearts from their bodies and used his ancient scrying technique known as Visceromancy. To read their lifeblood. When Arden Sul couldn't divine the traitor's true nature in their hearts, he became distraught and took his own life in the same way. From that day on, the ritual of accession for the throne of dementia was set. Tell me what to do. Very well. Spoken like a true son of the demented. I'm actually going for the other one because I don't like that dementia. guy. The current leader's heart must be cut out and brought to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sacellum. Once this is done, I can pronounce the heart bearer a duke or duchess. Then, all that is required is the blessing of our lord, Sheogorath. Uh, I'm not gonna read that. You're back! How nice for you! Does that mean you've made a decision? Or are you lost? Suicidal? Just let me know. Ah, come visit again! Or I'll block out your okay, I think I'm gonna end it there. So, next episode we'll decide on, you know, what one we're picking. To get in a very, uh, movie-like position here. Okay. Have a nice day, super, just help me be with some more shit, sneaky, because the vitamins are very, very important. And bye, bye, see you next time, have a nice day, see you, bye bye.